What about this? Getting from Kansas City to St. Louis in less than a half an hour. No. Yes. It sounds like science, science fiction, but the push to bring a Hyperloop route to Missouri took a big step forward today. So what is a Hyperloop? A pod that travels through a low pressure tube. The developers say could reach speeds of more than 600 miles per hour. Now the company behind it will join local leaders to see if one of their very first routes could come here. 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively spoke with key players this morning. Our area is back in the loop when it comes to Hyperloop and local company Black and Veatch is now on board to help study the possibility of that coming here. And guess what? A Hyperloop official came to Kansas City to tell us we have a great shot. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Missouri is is very much in the running. The study will see if I-70 can handle a Hyperloop, connecting passengers to Kansas City, Columbia, and St. Louis. There are certainly times when tunneling may make sense, so looking at cost of tunneling. While MoDOT will offer data and support, they say the study will be privately funded. I think the best thing the government can do here is get out of the way and let the private sector innovate. And I-70 itself, an established corridor, is a big plus. It's really a common sense route. You've got a state with two very large cities and a university in between and a very straight, nice alignment. Virgin Hyperloop One recently left the KC St. Louis route out of its top 10 global contenders, but now they're taking another look. It is one of the best we've seen. What we've seen in Missouri has just been incredible between the government, the business community, and the tech community coming together to say, hey, we're ready to make this a reality. It got our attention. To bring in our experience from doing large projects all over the world to the something right here in our backyard. And our location right in the middle of the U.S. is another bonus. It's pretty clear that, you know, this is, a, this is an environment and a potential route that could be you know, the first, second, or third Hyperloop in the world. That official from Hyperloop told us the company is only taking part in three feasibility studies in the U.S. this year. We are one of them. They plan to choose their top three routes, the first three they'll build, hopefully sometime in 2019. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News. And they say the study could take around nine months, and they hope to finish it sometime this year. Very